Do you think starting a charcoal grill is tough? Well, it's actually way easier than you might expect once you know a few tricks. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the easy way to start a charcoal grill, and we're not gonna be using any lighter fluid. Not only does this method give you food that tastes pure and smoky without a hint of chemicals, but it also lets you control your cooking temperature. Plus, eliminating the need for lighter fluid makes the whole process much safer. And the secret? Well, it's a simple tool called a chimney starter. Pair with some crumpled newspaper or a natural fire starter, this technique transforms lighting charcoal from a frustrating chore into a quick foolproof process. Once you've tried it, you'll wonder how you ever grilled without it. So let me ask you a question. Are you ready to level up your grilling skills? Let's dive in and get those coals glowing perfectly every time. Wondering why a chimney starter is the go-to tool for backyard barbecue enthusiasts? Well, it's because it's simple. And it's an affordable device that makes lighting charcoal fast, safe, and completely hassle-free. And here's how it works. The chimney starter pulls in air from below, creating a powerful draft that gets your coals glowing in no time. With a chimney starter, you can skip the wait and get right to grilling with a perfect heat control. You'll have coals ready faster, giving you more control over your cooking temperature, whether you're going for low and slow or a quick sear. Once you try it, you'll see why it's considered the easy way to start a charcoal grill. Now, let's walk through the exact steps to light your charcoal grill. First up, preparing the chimney starter. Fill it about halfway if you're going for low and slow, or all the way up to the top for a higher heat sear. This gives you the perfect amount of charcoal for whatever you're planning to cook. Next, grab some newspaper or a natural fire starter, crumpling it lightly so that there's enough airflow to keep it burning strong. Place this under the chimney starter, and now it's time to light it up. Ignite the newspaper in a few spots around the base and make sure the coals catch evenly. Then sit back and let the chimney starter work its maggot. In about 15 to 20 minutes, you'll see the coals turn ashy white or they'll start glowing. Both signs that they're perfectly heated and ready to be poured onto the grill. Let's talk briefly about charcoal. Choosing between natural lump coal and briquettes can make a big difference in your grilling. Natural lump coal burns hotter and adds more intense smoky flavor to your food. Ideal if you're looking for that pure wood fire taste. Briquettes on the other hand, give you a steadier, long lasting burn, making them great for consistent heat during long cooks. When it comes to temperature control, the amount of charcoal you use matters. For low, slow cooking, use a smaller amount of charcoal. And if you're aiming for medium heat, add a bit more. And for high heat searing, fill the chimney to the top. Here's a pro tip. Arrange your coals in direct and indirect cooking zones. Pile them on one side for a high heat zone to get the perfect sear while leaving the other side cool. This setup lets you easily control the heat, moving your food as you need it to avoid overcooking. When using your chimney starter, Proper placement is crucial. Never set it directly on cement. Instead, place it on your grill grate. This simple step helps prevent any unwanted accidents from heat damage or flare up. Now, let's talk about personal safety. Always wear close toed shoes and consider investing in heat proof gloves. These will protect your feet and your hands from accidental drops or burns while handling hot coals. And don't forget the tongs. They're essential for safely moving coals around without risking a singed finger. Another benefit of using a chimney starter is the enhanced safety it offers. By eliminating the need for lighter fluid, you not only avoid the risk for flare ups, but you also enjoy a cleaner grilling experience. Let's tackle some common mistakes that can trip up even seasoned grillers. First on the list, rushing the process. I get it, you're eager to start cooking, but good things take time. Give your chimney starter the full 15 to 20 minutes it needs to work its magic. Patience is key here. Rushing can lead to unevenly lit coals that won't provide the heat you're looking for. Another mistake is to steer clear of moving the chimney too soon. It's tempting to pour those coals onto the grill the moment you see a flicker of the flame. But this can result in ignition smoke that imparts unwanted flavors to your food. Wait for those coals to reach the perfect ashy white color, which means they're ready to go. By allowing the coals to fully ignite, you ensure that your grilled dishes taste amazing and smoky, just the way they should. Now, if you're watching a video about an easy way to start a charcoal grill, then I'm going to take a guess and say that you're just venturing into the realm of backyard barbecue, and you probably want to learn all of the techniques. Well, you're in luck because I have a whole playlist that is dedicated to charcoal grilling for beginners and is packed with tips and tricks to elevate your skills. Take a look and let me know what you think. I'll see you there.